Welcome to our May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Data on your iPhone can be lost from time to time in different scenarios. Until you need to restore backup to your iPhone, you'll realize that backing up your iPhone is never a useless and time-consuming task. No matter whether you backed up your iPhone using iCloud or iTunes, you can find detailed instructions to restore iPhone from its last backup in this video. Most iPhone users choose to backup iPhone using iCloud. If you have the latest iCloud backup, you can restore it to your iPhone by following steps. Please be noted that you need to reset your iPhone to factory settings first. On your iPhone, open Settings, General, Transfer or Reset iPhone. Click Erase All Content and Settings. When you are greeted with the Apps and Data screen, choose Restore from iCloud Backup. Here is a warm tip. If the restore process gets stuck at many minutes and restore from iCloud Backup not working, then you can try the following things. If you have created iTunes Backup, run the latest iTunes on your computer. Click the phone icon. Under Settings bar, choose Summary. Click Restore Backup. Here is a warm tip. If you find Restore iTunes Backup not working, or iTunes Restore Backup grayed out during the process, you can try the following troubleshoots. If you intend to restore iPhone from last backup to switch to new iPhone, there is a more powerful iOS data backup and transfer tool, which is named Phone Tool. It enables you to selectively backup or transfer data from iPhone to iPhone after setup. You can simply download this free tool in the description. If you want to backup and restore iPhone with Phone Tool, launch Phone Tool, connect your iPhone to a computer, click Phone Backup, get to Full Backup, and click Get Started. If you have to Apple Lightning to USB cable, you can also try iPhone to iPhone function in Phone Transfer page to transfer data from old iPhone to new iPhone directly. Enable backup encryption as you like. Select a storage path to save the backup. Click Start Backup and wait until it finishes. After backing up, you can go to the Backup History page and click the three dot icon. Click Restore to start. If you want to restore iTunes backup in Phone Tool, click the menu icon from the upper right corner. Click Import Backup Files to choose your iTunes backup. Generally speaking, your iTunes backup is located in this directory. After confirming your iTunes backup version, click Start Restore to begin the task. That's all for how to restore iPhone from last backup created in iCloud or iTunes. After restoring last backup to iPhone, you may lose data that hasn't been backed up more or less, so it is highly suggested you try Phone Tool to fully or selectively backup or transfer iPhone files. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with your any issues.